Hello fellow YouTubers, Mac in VR here, and welcome to my channel dedicated to all things gaming in virtual reality. Today I'm going to be talking about the Oculus Quest Pro, or whatever it's going to be called, what the possible specifications will be, when I think it will ship, and how much it will cost. Let's get straight into it then, and remember, we're born to respawn. Before we get into it, the channel is growing rapidly at the moment, and if you enjoy the madness that is Mac in VR, please consider subscribing and maybe dropping a like on this video. You can also support the channel on Patreon or by heading over to my shop on tshirtstudio.com and purchasing some of my stylish merchandise. Thanks. To some people out there, this video may seem like clickbait, but it is not. This video is based on research and my own gut feeling, taking into account the previous behavior of Oculus and Facebook when it comes to their VR headset. So, in a recent AMA, which stands for Ask Me Anything, yes, I had to look it up. In a recent AMA on Instagram, Facebook Reality Labs Vice President Andrew Boz Bosworth responded to a submitted question with this intriguing response. Quest Pro, huh? Interesting. So the question is, did he just reveal the existence of an Oculus Quest Pro? It's not beyond reason as his AMAs have become a source of real information. Remember he revealed that 120Hz refresh rate is coming to Quest 2 and that may be rolling out as early as March 2021. Though if you have been paying attention during John Carmack's excellent unscripted speech at Facebook Connect 7, JC revealed that FRL engineers had already got the panel running at 120Hz. So. Plus at Facebook's Q4 2020 earnings call, Mark Zuckerberg confirmed that a successor to Quest 2 is already in development when he stated this. We're continuing to work on new VR hardware as well. The new hardware will fit the same platform, so the content that works on Quest 2 should be forward compatible with the new hardware, so that we're going to build one larger install base around the virtual reality headsets that we have. So a newer, more powerful headset, but with full backward compatibility with Quest 2, Sounds like an Xbox One X or perhaps a PlayStation Pro approach to VR gaming. So this headset does exist. Boz and the Zuck himself have confirmed it. But what will its specs be? When will it release? And how much will it cost? Specs first then. How can the Oculus Pro improve on the Quest 2? I'm going to look at these key areas. The screen, resolution IPD and FOV, the controllers and tracking, battery life and comfort, and they are linked, so bear with me, audio, and finally, what size will the memory be? The best screens currently available on a consumer headset are the twin LCD panels in the HP Reverb G2 with its 2160 by 2160 per eye resolution, 90Hz refresh rate, physical IPD adjustment and a claimed FOV of 114 degrees, though let's not get into how that is measured as that is a whole other can of worms. The HP Reverb G2 retails at $600, and I'm going to keep going back to that price point as we dive deeper into it. You will see why later. So it's a no-brainer that those particular screens are affordable, have higher clarity and a better FOV than the current Quest 2's single LCD panel. Therefore, I'm putting that as upgrade number one. Moving on to controllers and tracking. Not much to say here, really. I like the new chunkier Quest controllers. They sit nicely in my hand, the build quality is good, and they feel like a premium product. So let's stick with them. The four cameras on the Quest use inside-out tracking to relay your position with six degrees of freedom, and I have to say, I have had no problems with tracking, and I use a virtual gun stock when playing Population 1 or onwards. So again, let's stick with that system. Now, battery life and comfort. The Quest Pro is obviously going to be more battery hungry than the Quest 2. Those twin LCDs at a higher refresh rate are going to eat through a standard Quest 2 battery. So what's the solution? Well, ship the Quest Pro with an elite battery strap. Simple. Solves two problems in one fell swoop. The weakest part of the mostly excellent Quest 2 is its audio. He's not going on about the bloody audio again, is he? <laughs> yes. Yes, I am. It's not that the audio is poor. It isn't. It's merely adequate and was done to save money. But this is the Pro version, so we want the best audio solution on the market, which is, well, it's the Valve Index audio solution. And Valve have already shown they are willing to share technology as the exact same solution is fitted to the HP Reverb G2, which retails at $600. See a pattern developing here? Memory. This is the Pro version, so I expect 120 gigabytes at least. 
Okay then, that is my educated guess based on what tech is currently available. So let's look at when this Oculus Pro headset will release. Oculus Go was announced at Oculus Connect 4 in 2017. Oculus Quest was revealed at Oculus Connect 5 in 2018. Oculus Rift S was revealed at the Games Developers Conference in 2019. And finally, Quest 2 details leaked just prior to Facebook Connect 7 in 2020. So I'm fully expecting Facebook and Oculus to continue their VR headset development cycle by revealing the Oculus Quest Pro, or whatever they're going to call it, either at Facebook Connect 8 in September or as a teaser to generate interest just before that date, with a full retail release in October 2021, just in time for the holiday season. What do you think? Is my logic sound? Here is another thing to ponder. Apple are planning on releasing a standalone VR headset, and if you can believe the hype coming out of Cupertino, and why wouldn't you? It's going to be cutting edge and very expensive. Facebook and Oculus don't want competition in the standalone market, so if they bring out a pro version of the Quest, and time the release right, it is going to cut the legs away from Apple before they even get started. Why buy a $3,000 headset when you can get a similar spec headset with proven technology and a massive games library for what? $600? See that price? That's what I expect the Pro to launch at. Not as pricey as an index, but a nice premium price tag for all us tech geeks out there who are willing to pay a bit extra for the best headset. So in conclusion, I expect the Quest Pro or whatever it's going to be called, to improve on all aspects of the Quest 2 that I mentioned previously, particularly the screen and audio. I expect it to be announced for pre-order by Mark Zuckerberg during Facebook Connect 8 in September, and I also expect it to retail at $600. There, it's on the internet now, so it must be true. What are your thoughts on this? Do you agree with my rationale, or do you think I'm tilting at windmills like a present-day Don Quixote? You know the drill. Get involved and comment down below. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this content, then please support the channel by subscribing, dropping a like on this video, and remember you can now support the channel on Patreon, or maybe purchase some Mac and VR branded merchandise at the t-shirtstudio.com. I can also be found on Twitch, where I stream daily on my pal Surgical Gaming's channel, usually about 1pm GMT. Check out all the links in the description below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you on the other side. I don't even manage to pick up any weapon yet, though. Yeah. <laughs> that might be still. Ah ha ha! F*** you! I've got a shield! Ah ha ha! Oh, he shot me in the foot! <laughs> that's, that's funny as f***! Oh my god! Oh, yeah.